People ask me, how is the Demon Slayer's Handbook different than other spiritual books? And I like to think of it as the Demon Slayer's Handbook doesn't require that you have any sort of religion or that you previously participated in a religion. It doesn't care if you're Christian or Buddhist or Muslim or Jewish or any other. And in fact, there are hundreds of other religions on the planet. So the purpose of this book is to help you apply a broader understanding of your own current beliefs and then use them in your everyday life. It's a book that reflects back to you your own spirit, your own relationship to your creator. It gives you uh, incredibly practical ways through prayer, altars, creating home worship, and times of reflection to cultivate a deeper, a deeper self-knowledge a deeper understanding and acceptance of the way with which your Creator loves you unconditionally. You know, that sometimes that really surprises people, that your Creator loves you unconditionally, without condition. You are loved so deeply, even if you're an asshole. You are loved deeply. And you know what? So maybe it's not you. Maybe it's maybe it's them. You know, maybe, maybe you're not the asshole. Maybe it's your neighbor. You know, maybe they are the asshole. And even so, when you can accept that even they are deeply loved and unconditionally by their creator. When you can accept that, it will help you to embrace their however minute expression of goodness. And then learn to set boundaries in a way that does not allow them to be an asshole to you. Isn't that what we're all looking for? 